Hi, I'm Vikram Gore and you're watching India Ahead. Today we're at the new Hyundai Motor India corporate office where we're going to be catching up with uh, Tarun Garg, the Director of Sales and Marketing and Service at Hyundai Motor India Limited. Hello, sir. Hi, Vikram. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, sir, before we get started on talking about BEVs and the big announcement that Hyundai just made, uh, I saw you on TV. You were with uh, Amitabh Bachchan at the KBC event and uh, that looked like a special thing and I think that's a great uh, initiative as well. Yeah, as you know, uh, under our Beyond Mobility program, we have been taking all such initiatives. And we believe very strongly the way Mr. Bachchan has really evolved himself and how he has really changed, you know, uh, in fact, he's changing the very rules of the game yeah. and the, how he has been able to engage with the Indian customers. I believe that was a very, very natural kind of a, a, a partnership. And we are very, very happy that we went into this kind of a partnership. I think it's amazing what they do. And I think that that prize money goes to the right people to help them sort of take their lives forward. In fact, this is very important, Vikram, because, uh, you know, KBC is reflecting about the aspirations of India and how it is really motivating people to improve themselves. So we believe at Hyundai, we also try to really meet the aspirations of people to give them some quality time and also, you know, ensure them that we are also trying to improve ourselves as with the changing times, with the changing technology. And, you know, they can really look up to Hyundai for, for, for their future mobility needs. So, sir, I'll give you a little anecdote. Mr. Bachchan is born on October 11th. He's six foot two, and he's left-handed. I'm born on October 11th. I'm six foot two. I'm left-handed. Oh my God! But <laughs> bank balance me farak hai. But you're here with us, and uh, that's another common thing. But uh, <laughs> so getting down to business, sir, uh, on the serious front, uh, Hyundai made a big announcement about uh, uh, a large sort of electric play. So could you shed some light on this uh, six uh, BEV? Uh, plan that Hyundai is rolling out. Yeah. So Vikram, basically, as you know that uh, sustainability is a very key pillar of our beyond mobility, in addition to innovation and intelligent technology. So we, we strongly believe at Hyundai that you know, we are responsible for the well-being of the future generation and we have to kind of play our part in terms of leading uh, you know, mobility towards cleaner mobility. And that is how we have announced that we are going to expand our BEV portfolio to six okay. by 2028 and we are going to invest about 4,000 crores under this program. And there's a very important aspect of it that, you know, when we're talking about BEVs, we are saying that we're going to also introduce a, a eGMP platform, yes. which is an electric global modular platform of Hyundai Motor Group. And that is a very, very distinct platform, which gives us a lot of advantages in terms of, you know, introducing these BEVs, because not only does it give us very easy scalability and modularity in terms of body types, in terms of length of the vehicle. But also there are a lot of uh, positive things like, you know, it gives us much more interior space. It gives us flexibility of seating options, etc., etc. So we believe very strongly that this eGMP uh, you know, platform is going to give us a, a good edge in terms of, uh, you know, BEVs. Okay. So, so uh, this 4,000 crore that you mentioned, this is something that's going to go down towards this uh, eGMP platform that you have mentioned? Actually, this is the, the money which we are committing towards development of battery electric vehicles. So some of the vehicles will be based on the eGMP platform. Some of the vehicles will also be kind of derived on the IC platform. Okay. Because th the advantage there is that we get a advantage of a volume and localization to start with. So what we are saying is probably 50-50, which means out of the six models, maybe approximately three on the eGMP platform and three on the uh, on the derived IC derived platform. Okay. And when we're looking at uh, six uh, products, obviously it's a, across an entire range of uh, uh, you know segments. I know that we cannot get too much into product details at this stage, but uh, what would be the segments that we're looking at? You know, or body types, if you want to yeah, yeah, share that. Yeah, of course. So we are looking at both mass as well as mass premium segments. In terms of body types, as you know, that SUVs uh, uh, are the flavor of the season. So we are going to focus on SUVs because the contribution of SUVs to the Indian market keeps on going up. Yeah. So what we have said is, it's going to be SUVs, CUVs, sedans. So it's going to be a mix of all these body types because this is what a probably the Indian customer wants and this is what that is why we want to primarily focus on. At the same time, we will keep on taking feedback from the market and like I said, the eGMP platform, the advantage is that, you know, we have a lot of flexibility yeah. and uh, so that, so we can quickly incorporate any customer feedback in terms of body type as well. And lastly, sir, uh, you know, we've spoken about the fact that we've got six cars coming in. It's an exciting time for Hyundai. 
you know, what is Hyundai's read on the EV market? Like, what is the trend that you see for India uh, going forward? Look, uh, that's an interesting one and that's not such an easy question to answer. And we believe that, yes, market is clearly evolving and customers are moving towards EV. At the same time, the process will take some time. Uh, as per the IHS forecast, we are probably the industry would be give and take about 175,000 in 2028. So that is one part of it. The second part of it is that performance is going to play a very important role also. I mentioned about the eGMP platform. Yes. You know, what I when I say performance, what I mean is that the, the top speed could be 260 km per hour. The range flexibility could be as much as 800 km. Wow. You know, so I think these are some of the things which are going to be very important going forward that not only in terms of design, in terms of performance, in terms of flexibility, we are going to really give the customer a vehicle of his choice which will really remove the range anxiety as well as give him that feeling of yes, he's going to getting a great performance. Well, it's great to see Hyundai doing this. You gave us our first EV with the Kona and uh, now we're seeing this entire rollout happening. It's definitely an exciting time. Thank you for shedding so much light on this, sir. Thank you very much, Vikram. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.